Have you ever pondered on why your room gets messy over time? Or why your coffee cools down? Well, the answer lies in a fundamental concept of physics called entropy. Let's dive into this enigma of entropy, a concept that is as intriguing as it is misunderstood. In its simplest form, entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness. It's a bit like the universe's rule book, guiding how energy is dispersed and systems evolve over time. Consider this. When you organize your room, you're essentially reducing its entropy. You're creating order from disorder. But as time passes, things get moved around, dust settles, and slowly but surely, that order gives way to chaos. Your room, in other words, increases in entropy. This isn't due to any fault of your own. Rather, it's the universe following its fundamental rules. This brings us to one of the fundamental principles of physics, the second law of thermodynamics. It states that the total entropy of an isolated system can never decrease over time. It can only remain constant if all processes are reversible, which they aren't in real life. Or, it can increase, which is what we see around us. Think about your hot cup of coffee. It doesn't stay hot forever, does it? Energy in the form of heat disperses from your coffee into the surrounding environment, causing it to cool down. This is entropy at play, the energy spreading out, increasing the overall disorder of the system. Entropy is not just about messy rooms and cooling coffee, it's a universal principle that governs how stars burn, how life forms, and even how time flows. It's this unseen force that nudges everything towards a state of greater disorder and randomness. So, in simpler terms, entropy is the universe's tendency to prefer disorder over order. And this is the reason why your room gets messy and your coffee cools down. Entropy doesn't only govern disorder, it also plays a significant role in how engines work. Now let's dive into the world of heat engines, where the concept of entropy really shines. A heat engine, in its simplest form, is a device that converts heat energy into mechanical work. Picture a steam engine, where heat from burning coal is used to create steam, which then drives the pistons and turns the wheels. While this process might seem straightforward, there's an incredible amount of physics happening behind the scenes with entropy being the star of the show. The efficiency of a heat engine, or how much of the heat energy it can convert into useful work, is determined by the difference in temperature between the hot and cold reservoirs. The hot reservoir is where the heat enters the engine, like the burning coal in our steam engine, and the cold reservoir is where the waste heat exits. Now you might wonder, why can't we just make a super efficient engine that converts all the heat into work? Well, that's where entropy comes in. Remember, entropy is all about energy spreading out. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that in any energy conversion, some energy will always be lost as waste heat. This is entropy at work, ensuring energy doesn't stay concentrated, but spreads out. The efficiency of our heat engine, then, is a reflection of these entropy changes. The greater the temperature difference between the hot and cold reservoirs, the more heat energy can be converted into work. But no matter how efficient our engine is, some energy will always be lost as waste heat, thanks to entropy. This is why your car engine gets hot as it runs, or why the back of your fridge feels warm while it cools the inside. It's all entropy, ensuring energy keeps spreading out from hot to cold, from concentrated to dispersed. So entropy decides the efficiency of your car engine, and also why your fridge gets hot at the back, while it cools the inside. But entropy isn't just about disorder and heat engines, it's also crucial for life as we know it. Now let's consider our home planet, Earth. It's here that we see entropy playing a significant role in the very existence and sustenance of life. How so, you might ask? Well, Earth is in a constant exchange of energy with the Sun. We receive highly concentrated low entropy energy in the form of sunlight. This energy is then absorbed, used, and eventually radiated back into space as high entropy, dispersed energy. This exchange creates what we could call an entropy gradient. In a way, it's somewhat like a river flowing downhill, from a state of high potential energy to a state of low potential energy. Only in this case, the hill is the entropy gradient, and the river is the flow of energy from low entropy to high entropy. But where does life fit into this picture? Well, life in all its complex, structured glory exists and thrives within this entropy gradient. Imagine a water wheel in our metaphorical river. As the water, or energy, flows from high to low, it turns the wheel, powering whatever the wheel is connected to. Similarly, life harnesses the energy flow from the sun, 
using it to power all the complex structures and processes that constitute life itself. From the simplest plants performing photosynthesis to the most complex human inventions, all are possible because of this gradient. The low entropy energy from the sun fuels the processes that allow plants to grow, herbivores to eat those plants and carnivores to eat those herbivores. It powers the weather systems that bring rain to nourish the plants and the geological processes that create the very soil in which they grow. So, in a very real sense, the flow of entropy is the flow of life. It's the driving force behind the complex, dynamic, and ever-changing tapestry of life on Earth. In the grand scheme of things, entropy is the reason why life on Earth flourishes. Entropy also has a profound implication on how we perceive time. This statement may initially seem a bit perplexing, but let's unravel it together. Often we hear about the arrow of time, a concept that aims to explain why time seems to always move in one direction, forwards. But have you ever wondered why we can remember yesterday but not tomorrow? It's here that entropy takes center stage. The second law of thermodynamics tells us that in an isolated system, entropy will always increase or at best remain the same. It's this tendency towards increasing disorder that gives time its forward direction. It's like a cosmic hourglass where the grains of sand are energy dispersing in the most probable ways. This doesn't mean that entropy destroys information about the past. In fact, it's quite the contrary. As entropy increases, it leaves behind a trail of physical changes that we can measure and remember. It's why we can recall the past, but not the future. Imagine a movie of a glass shattering on the floor, playing in reverse. The shards spontaneously jumping back together to form a perfect glass would seem strange to us, wouldn't it? That's because it's a low probability event. The universe prefers the high probability, disordered state where the glass remains shattered and entropy stays high. In this way, entropy serves as the cosmic director, dictating the progression of events in the universe. It's the force that ensures every action has an irreversible consequence, every cause a certain effect. It's why we age, why stars burn out, why things change and evolve. And while this might sound a bit dreary, it's also incredibly beautiful. It's entropy that allows for complexity, for change, for life itself. It's a fundamental law of nature that shapes our very existence and perception of reality. So, next time you look at a clock ticking, remember it's entropy that's making time move forward. It's not just a measure of seconds, minutes, and hours, but a testament to the grand cosmic dance of energy and entropy. So what does entropy mean for the universe as a whole? Let's ponder on that. You see, our universe exists in a fascinating state of medium entropy. It's not too orderly, nor is it in complete disarray. This equilibrium allows for the emergence and sustenance of complex structures. Stars, galaxies, and even life itself can flourish in this sweet spot of entropy. But entropy isn't evenly distributed across the universe. Much of the universe's entropy is tied up, quite literally, in black holes. These cosmic giants are a testament to the power of entropy. They gulp down matter and energy, increasing the overall disorder of the universe, while simultaneously hiding it away from the rest of us. It's a cosmic balancing act of sorts, with black holes as the stage and entropy as the performer. Now, let's fast forward to the far, far future. The universe, as we know it, will change dramatically. Stars will burn out, galaxies will drift apart, and black holes will evaporate. This stage in the universe's life is often referred to as the heat death. But don't be fooled by its ominous name. It's not a fiery end, but rather a state of maximum entropy. In this scenario, energy is spread out so evenly that no more work can be done. There's no room for the formation of new stars or the birth of new galaxies. The universe, in essence, reaches a state of equilibrium where nothing happens. It's like a cosmic siesta that goes on forever. Entropy, my friends, is the ultimate puppet master. It pulls the strings of the universe, guiding the dance of energy and matter from the birth of stars to the eventual heat death. It's a silent player in the cosmic game, often misunderstood yet undeniably influential. In the end, entropy rules the universe from the smallest particle to the largest galaxy and even time itself.